Hello everyone, Ven with here, and I'm back again with some more Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 news. So Orbex have announced their upcoming add-ons for Microsoft Flight Simulator, and we're just going to go through them all right now. So they're going to be released through Orbex Direct, which is their own app, which you can install, and it'll install it that way. Or it'll also come within the uh, Microsoft Flight Sim Marketplace. Orbex have also announced that if you buy any of these products I'm going to talk about today for FSX Prepared 3D X-Plane and Aerofly FS2, then you can receive a 40% discount on them, but you'd have to purchase them through the Orbex Direct website and store. The first add-on that they've announced is London City Airport, and this will be available for basically 15 US dollars or nine US dollars for existing customers. So this adds a lot of um, extra, as, add, literally adds another airport to London area, because I think London Heathrow is a handcrafted one by uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So this brings the more inner airport uh, to Microsoft Flight Simulator in full detail, as you can see on screen. And I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. And especially some of the fine detail that you can see around the airport as well. It looks very, very nice. To go with that, they're also releasing a London city pack with landmarks in. So this is going to be priced at 80 US dollars. I don't know about UK pricing. So what this does is it adds loads of historic, um, well, iconic, London buildings and landmarks. So, you know, you've got the um, Thames Barrier. Uh, you've got a load of the uh, new skyscrapers that have added in. They've been built recently. You've got the London Eye. And you've got the Houses of Parliament. So, if you ended up going for the London City Airport, you might want to go for the landmarks pack to go with it. So it uh, makes that whole experience, you know, just a wonderful experience. So the next product they've announced is Innsbruck Airport. Now, this would be for 20 US dollars or 12 dollars for existing customers. What surprised me about them releasing this, or will be releasing this, is the fact that if you buy the correct version of Microsoft Flight Simulator, this already comes as a handcrafted airport. So, I mean, although it does look absolutely gorgeous in these photos, it makes you wonder, like, how much better it's going to be compared to the handcrafted airport that's already in there. It might be better. It, it's going to be one for looking at comparisons at, for definite. But um, like even the, even like the whole city of Innsbruck, it just like with those trains and everything. It just looks absolutely stunning though in those photos that they've released. So that's going to be an interesting one to say the least. Next up is Leeds Bradford Airport, available for $18 or $10.79 for existing customers. So this one I've flown into on X-Plane before, so it does look quite nicely detailed and it should uh, add an extra UK airport to the handcrafted airports that you can fly into and at least gives you something a bit more north of, north of England so that's going to be interesting leave in the UK of course the next one is Orcas Island Airport this is looks like a lot of a smaller airport so it's going to be a lot better for the um, VFR flying the GA planes, but it, uh, it it gives you a little bit of something different to to all the rest, which is nice. It looks really looks quite nice, and that would be for thirteen dollars or seven dollars seventy nine cents for existing customers. Next, we've got Tacoma Narrows Airport. So this is another one for that sort of suits the GA aircraft and private jets and stuff. It should uh, provide you some more airports in the US that way. And it uh, looks quite nice. It's got a 5,000 foot runway, which is perfect length for GA aircraft, while the private jets are offering 
charter or air taxi services, as they say. There's plenty of parking spots and it allows you to do some exciting formation flying over the stunning region full of life and variation. So yeah, that'd be um, a nice little airport if you want to sort of fly around the region of Washington. And that will be for $13 and $7.75 for existing customers. Next, you've got Hollywood Burbank Airport. So this is a much bigger airport compared to the last one, and it'd be available for 18 US dollars or $10.79 for existing customers. So this would be quite a nice one to fly into and out of if you're planning on doing some longer haul flights, I would assume. And it does look really quite nice, actually. Lots of detail around the airport, which is nice. Lots of baggage carts and stuff. So yeah, that, that one would be a uh, quite interesting. And lastly, we've got Santa Barbara M Municipal Airport available for $15 or $9 for existing customers. So this allows you to fly against the rugged backdrop of the Santa Ynez Mountains in Southern California. I've probably completely ruined the pronunciation of that. So you've got some really interesting architectural style in those buildings. So, so you know, the airport's gonna really stand out compared to different airports. Uh, it's served by five airlines on a regular basis. Um, and it's perfect combination of airline and GA destination with its main 6,000 foot runway and two 4,200 feet GA runways. So it's going to be good if you want to play GA or, you know, use some of the bigger commercial airliners. So that's what uh, they have announced. So yeah, I'm looking forward to um, probably actually picking up some of this myself, to be fair. And uh, so that's what Orbex have announced that's coming. Now they do say that some might be released at launch and some will be available shortly after. So is there, does any of that appeal to any of you? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.